you folks must be wondering why I'm holding a figure of a Japanese humanoid bug creature. Well, there's a good explanation for that. And, uh, oh boy, it is going to be interesting. Stay tuned and I'll tell you folks all about this. <laughs> So, the reason why I have this thing in my hand is mainly because of the fact that Tubi TV, which is a uh, platform which streams classic television shows as well as movies from various decades, accidentally went and did an oopsie. They accidentally put up the listing for the original Common Rider from 1971. Yes, you heard that right. The original Common Rider starring Hiroshi Fujioka from 1971. And this happened on March 10th, which wasn't that long ago. And this pretty much blew everybody's minds if you are a fan of tokusatsu. And uh, just to basically give you a quick rundown of what I'm talking about, Kamen Rider is a franchise created by the late great manga artist Shotaro Ishinomori. He also did the uh, manga for The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, which is known in Japan as Zerudo no Densetsu Kamigami no Triforce, or the Triforce of the Gods. He also created many other franchises like Cyborg 009, for example, as well as the first two entries in the Super Sentai series, Himitsu Sentai Goranja and Chaka Dengektai. Now, when everybody saw this and became aware of it, everybody lost their collective minds. And, uh... Nobody knew what was going on. We didn't know if Shop Factory decided to release the original Common Rider for streaming services early. Heck, we didn't even know that was the case until the day after, March 11th. So, basically, the whole rundown is that 2B TV made an oopsie. There was supposed to be an announcement that will happen this coming Monday on the 16th. And then the entirety of the original Common Rider, all 98 episodes, will be available on 2B TV. Now, I did look up on look it up on Amazon Prime Video and the entire season, the entire series rather is still up on Amazon Prime Video, but I will not be sharing the link to that. You folks can find it for yourselves. Yeah, I don't want to be, I don't want to be that guy, but I, the cat's out of the bag pretty much. So, it's basically up to you guys if you want to check it out and watch some of the original Common Rider. Now, going back to what I was saying previously... I won't give away too much information because I really don't want to overwhelm new people that might want to check this out. 
So basically, the uh, and uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, use any kind of a footage from the show or any of the fan subs because Toei is very, very, very strict and. There's no such thing as fair use in Japan, unfortunately, so. Anyway. The show stars Hiroshi Fujioka as, as a Hongo Takeshi, or Takeshi Hongo, if for the uh, native English speakers out there. He was basically captured by an evil organization known as Shocker. And he was turned into a cyborg, also known as a Kaizo Ningen, which is basically Japanese for a modified human, because that's what he is. He was captured by Shocker to become one of their cyborgs. And before the brainwashing could take place, he ended up escaping. And he basically started fighting against Shocker as Kamen Rider 1. This guy right here. Even though this is not the... Uh, original uh, suit that Ichigo wore when the show first started, but... And at some point during the filming of the original Kamen Rider, Hiroshi Fujioka ended up shattering his leg during a motorcycle stunt, so Toei Back, well, back then, in their, uh, I guess you could say genius planning and everything, they kind of planned ahead for this, and they brought in a new character, Hayato Ichimonji, who uh, would later take Takashi's place, and in the context of the show, they said that basically Hongo Takashi went to Europe to fight the Shockers sector over there in Europe for a while. So it was up to Hayato Ichimonji, a.k.a. Kamen Rider 2, to defend Japan from the evil forces of Shocker. And... This is going to be hard to believe, but Kamen Rider, as a franchise, as a whole, it's almost 50 years old. Yeah. This was around the time where this was basically after Ultraman had premiered and everything. So, it was during the big kaiju boom of the 60s. So, that basically gives you a good rundown of the original Kamen Rider, as well as its creator, Shotaro Ishinomori. I did a video on the history of tokusatsu a long time ago. This was back when Power Rangers Super Mega Force was airing. And uh, the less said about that, the better, to be quite honest with you. Um, and also, before I go to celebrate the... Uh, Upcoming announcement, which uh, 2B TV let out of the bag. Whoopsie. I will be streaming Common Rider Backride War Genesis on the PlayStation 3 on my Twitch channel. 
I will give you guys a link to that in the description below. So, that's all the token news that I have to share for this uh, time. Please let me... You, please let me know if you guys are excited for the or original Common Rider dropping or if you have already checked it out, let me know. Please feel free to like this video and anything else. And until next time, this has been Die Hard Gamer signing out and I will catch you guys next time.